Hello and welcome to the Harriet Muller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. I've had a special request from Gockle who'd like me to draw a Victoria crowned pigeon. So we're going to be producing one just like this. So get yourself some plain white paper. You'll need a pencil, an eraser and a black pen. And don't forget, if you like to draw animals, you can download my free PDF on how to draw horse galloping, which you'll find in the link just here. So let's get started. We're going to start off the Victoria crowned pigeon with a nice oval shape that's slightly tilted diagonally to the left. So just very lightly in pencil. Don't draw too hard because we need to erase this. Just draw a nice oval shape. There we go, something like that. Now we're going to add the head. So just in this top left hand corner, we're going to add a smaller circle that's attached to this oval. So just something like this. There we go. Next, we're going to add the wing. So starting here, we're going to draw a line coming down all the way down till it crosses this oval shape. We're going to carry on this line, it's going to carry on Sorry if you can hear that seagull right outside of my window. <laughs> it probably knows that we're drawing another bird. Okay, so from here, we're going to draw a curved line attaching it to the oval shape again. So another curved line coming down and round. Next, we're going to be drawing the rock that the Victoria crown pigeon is standing on. So just draw a curved line just going all the way down like this. Now for the feet, so two lines, one and two. And then we're just going to draw little feet there. Okay, remember if I go too quickly, just pause and rewind. So you see here where the wing crosses the oval shape, we're going to be drawing a line diagonally downward. This is going to be the tail. We're going to do another one from here coming downwards as well. There we go. Now, last but not least, we're going to draw the neck. So this comes downwards like this. And then where the beak is gonna go and the eye. So a little circle here, and then a line going diagonally to this side. There we go. Now I'm going to start using pen, but please, please carry on in pencil. It's only so that you can see it well on camera. So I'm going to draw the eye. So just draw a circle for the eye. Remember that the eyes are actually red. So if you do want to color this in, you can do it in red. Now I'm just going to draw like a triangle shape just to show where the light is hitting the eye. And then for the black pupil, and then I'm going to color in the black pupil like that. So these beautiful pigeons have these lovely markings around their eyes. So I'm just going to draw the markings around the eye. Did you know that the Victoria crown pigeon is the largest species of pigeon in the world? I didn't know that. And what's even more interesting is that it's closely related to the extinct dodo. There you go, fun facts for today. I'm sure you can guess who it was named after. Yes, it was named after Queen Victoria, British monarch. Okie dokie, so let's just refine this marking around the eye. Okay, so we're next going to do the beak. So just following this line that we did here, we're going to draw the beak and then it's going to come upwards like this. I'm sure you can hear the seagull outside. I really do think it knows that we're drawing a pigeon. They don't always get on. Okay, now we're going to do the underside of the beak, just like that. Just like that. Okay, now we're going to finish off the rest of the head. So, bring it upwards. And then we're just going to draw like these little wispy lines to show feathers. Then they get longer. And then here, they get really long. Now, this is where these amazing plumes are found. So I'm just drawing these really long ones here. So a series of short and long ones. And I will show you what we're going to do with them. There we go. All the way around till we hit here. Okay. 
then we're just going to draw some little jagged lines like this. This is for the rest of the neck, getting slightly larger as we go downwards. Okay, now coming out from here, we're going to draw a few more little feathers. So just like this, just like so. Okay, now we're going to do the fun bit, which are the little fan type feathers on the top of the head. So just look closely. We're going to draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. And then I'm just going to do a series of dots along the top of the fan, like that. And another one parallel to that. Okay, so that's how we're going to draw these plumes. So it's got quite a few. So I'm just going to speed up the process, okay? But you know what we're doing. So lots of little dots. Okay, now I'm going to do a few smaller ones just here at the front. So I'm just going to make them a lot smaller. And then in the gaps, I'm just going to draw a few more feathers just coming upwards like this. Just last but not least, just one here. There's a big one there. There we go. Excellent. So we're going to carry on with the body. So from here, we're going to carry on and I'm just going to draw the stomach coming all the way down. And then when we get to about here, we're just going to draw those little feathery lines, just these little jagged lines going down and up, down and up down and up. That's going to carry on up here, down and up. Okay, next we're going to be drawing the feet. So first of all, the foot that's in the foreground, this is going to be this one. And then we're going to draw one of the toes. And then another one here. And then one coming out here. And then their legs are actually quite scaly, so I'm just going to draw some scaly patterns on it like this, just like that. And on the toes, we draw lots of little curved lines just to show that they're rounded. There we go. All the way around like this, coming up there. And then some nice big long talons. Ta da! Okay, now for the other one down, big toe here, and one that kind of gets squished underneath this one, and that one towards the back, and the legs, little scaly bits on them, little scaly patterns, and then the rounded lines. All the way around, all the way around we go. And then obviously big long talons. And then there's just one poking up from behind there. And then one poking out towards the back. And then we're just going to draw the rock that it's standing on. And there we go. Just like so. Now we're going to start doing the feathers. So there's one feather just here. So just using like these little wispy lines, there's one there. And then we're just going to draw just really gently in pen, 
or pencil, sorry, if you're still doing pencil, which I hope you are. Um, just keep on doing it like this. Then another one here. Another one here. And then we're going to start the top of the bird and it comes round all the way around like this. And then we're going to carry on. The way down like that and then a few more they're getting slightly larger as we come down there we go and then getting much longer here so here we're just going to draw some longer feathers and just following this line that we did before, some really big feathers just poking up. Okay, then there's one larger feather just coming across here. And then some slightly smaller ones. And then underneath here, some larger ones. Like that. And then some little feathery lines underneath. And now for the tail. So just a straight line going down like so. And we're just going to draw a couple of lines just coming around and then one that has the edges of the feathers so it goes down like this and then one that's similar to that one and then one underneath and this one underneath we're actually going to color in just like that okay so if you haven't gone over it in pen yet, go over it in pen now, and then we're going to erase all the pencil lines. Okay, now for the finishing touches, we're just going to add a little bit of shadow just underneath the belly. So just using these lines all in the same direction, all parallel next to each other, just go all the way down like this. And obviously making it darker on the underside, so we're just going to do a few more of these lines, still all in the same direction. Okay, on this one as well, all in the same direction. So it looks nice and uniform. Okay, carrying on. And a few more down here. And just under here as well. And also on this one, just where the other wing overlaps the body, just like so like this and then just underneath these parts just anywhere that you think's got a little bit of shadow there we go okay I'm gonna make this a lot darker because this parts in real shadow so to make it a lot darker you just keep on going over it and just do the lines in a slightly different direction so if you can notice those those lines were going more vertical now I'm sloping off to the right hand side just to make it a little bit darker Doing the same here. There we go. And also on the legs, just here at the top, just where they're in the most shadow here. Okay, and then obviously underneath the beak, underneath here, and last but not least, a little bit of shadow underneath the Victoria crowned pigeon, just to show that it's actually standing on something. There we go. So here's my finished drawing of a Victoria crown pigeon. If you've enjoyed it, check out all the others in the playlist on how to draw different types of birds. And please do consider subscribing and liking, and I really hope to see you on the next one. Thank you, goodbye.